All right, so the next function function I want to call now is our display initials function. I'm going to make a copy of it and paste it. Our display initials function needs our initials, our first initial, our middle initial, and our last initial. We have it here. We have them here. So I'm going to pass it to this function. I'm going to pass the first initial, the middle initial, and then the last, in, the last initial. And we know this display initials, whoops, over here. I, so first of all, you can look, see, look at the name here. I, I'm sure some of you have seen it, but I use initials as in II. Now, because I called it with the same name, it will work, right? But I meant to say initials with just one I. So that means I need, when I'm calling it, I need to use the same name. So I'm going to paste initials with one I here. I make a copy of it. So now it matches. Wing 101 does a nice job of kind of highlighting, you know, any similar names in, on this in this page. So we know the display initials function displays it this way for us. So when I run the program, this is what I wanted to talk about earlier. Nothing happens. Why? Because all we have is function. All we have, okay, is fu function. Our functions here. We've you only defined them. In order to you know have it run, we have to call these functions. And I'm so even though we are calling, okay, I'm sure even though we are calling, I'm sure some of you are thinking, even though we're calling these function, uh, the main function is a function itself, and that needs to be called. That main function needs to be called. So down here, I'm going to call the main function. Okay, and then now when we run the program, it should work. So let's see if we have any errors. I'm running, I run it, and it says, please enter your first name. Then I'm going to type in, let's use what's in the example, right? John William Smith. The program said, if you type in John William Smith, you're going to, we should, it should spit out JWS, J dot W dot S dot S dot. So John, please enter your middle name, William. Please enter your last name, Smith. And now it just dis it displays JWS with spaces separating them. But it's not exactly how the question wanted us to display it. So the print, this is the function that is displaying our initials. So the print function, when you pass in arguments into it this way, by default, they are displayed with a space separating each of them. Now that's the default behavior. You can change that separator. You can change it. Uh, it's, an, it's a value. It's an argument here. I'm going to pass it in as a, as a, with a comma. I'm going to basically type a comma and pass that value here. It's called SEP. It stands for separator. And I can set that value and change it. I can set it from a space. Now it's a space. I can change it from a space to a dot, a period. I'm saying print out the first argument, separate it with a period in between. Don't use a space anymore. Use a period. And then print out the middle initial, which is W. And then don't separate it with a space. Change it now. Make the separator a period. Now put a period instead of a, of a, of that. And then print out the last value. Right. There was nothing after it, so so we won't separate it with anything. It's only it's, you know if there's if it has an, another value after following it, separate those two elements, the one before and then the one after, with a period. So I've changed the separator to a period. Run the program. I'm going to do it again. Type in John. William Smith, hit enter. And it's close to how the question wanted us to. We have a period as a separator in between them, right? But we also need a period at the end, right? It's not separating it because this is the only value here. If we had another value following it, then it will, it will separate it, those two, this one and the one, this one and the one following it with a, with a period. Also, the print function, okay, this is the function that's printing our initials. The print function also always has something it ends with like after printing out whatever you told it to print it ends with something and that something is a new line so it prints out everything you want want it, want it to print and then it's going to move the position from the next line okay i'm sorry from from this line here from this current line to the next line it ends with a new line basically a new line break and so anything that you print after this will be displayed from the next line going. That's that's the default behavior. It always ends with a new line. Print out what you want to print and then ends with a new line. It moves the position from where it's at to the next line. Okay, ends with a new line break. So anything that comes after what you've printed will be displayed from this line going. You can also change that. That's also a value. It's the ending argument. Okay, and the value is, uh, the, uh, the argument is E-N-D for end. I'm going to change the ending value from a new line 
to something I want to specify. I'm changing it from a new, new line. Okay, now to a period. And after printing out this, separating it with a period, end it also with a period. Right? That's what I'm saying. So I'm going to run, type it again, type in, type in John William Smith. Hit enter. Now we are displaying it just, how, just like the, how, what the question is asking. Um, actually, so there's a, just a JW, and then there's a W dot, and there's a space over here. So I guess it's it's kind of different, right? We can go back. Now, this this still works. This still works. But we can go back to exactly now. Now, this. I realize there's a space here. So let's get that effect, and it's a good way for us to learn. Okay, so let's go back. I'm going to remove the separate end and the ending value. I'm going to remove it, um, and let's go back to how it looks. I'm sorry if you're going back, but it's a good, good way to learn as well. I just realized there's a space in here, so let's see how we're going to do that. So John William Smith. So we have our space because we need that space. I just realized it here. All right, so I, it looks like what we want to type is, let's see here. We can, you can concatenate, I guess you can concatenate it with a, with a period, I guess, right? You can concatenate it with a period if you want to get the, this effect. Right? You can do that. So let's you can concatenate it with a period, or you can separate it with a period and then concatenate it with a space. Right? You can do that as well. And then you can change the separator. Now the separator by default is a space. Um, or I just I just thought of this, and sometimes you know it, you know sometimes it takes time for you to come up with ideas. There's so many ways to do this. I'm just thinking of an effective way. I don't want us to do something like this and concatenate it with us with a space. No, it, it, you can do it, although it will work. But the separate it now instead of it being a period. Let's, let's let's if you run this, you get by default it's a space. Or you can make the separate a period and a space, right? A period and a space because that's what the separator is. And then we end it with a period. So now that will work. <laughs> okay, so you know sometimes it takes you time to come up with ideas and or how to figure this out. So by default, we know how it works, right? There's a space separate in each of them. Now, let's change the separator from a default, which is a space, now to a period. Okay, it's a it's a period over here and a space, a period and a space. Let's do that. Change it to period, then a space. So I, let's run this program. Type in John. William Smith. Oops, we have a problem. Let's see here. So display initials got an unexpected keyword argument, SCP. Uh, let's see. Display initial. Okay, so I'm sorry. I meant to type it in the print function, not the display initials. I think I actually also, right here, right here, sorry. Not, not in the display initials. So let's remove that. Let's remove that. I didn't mean to type it in the display initials function. I meant to type it in the print function here. Okay, right here. So let's change the separator. Type in the comma. Separator is going to be equal to a period and a space. Run the program. Yeah, so some of you saw it. John William Smith. Okay, so now it's working. The only thing we are missing is just the period at the end. Right, we have our period and a space. Period and a space. We're missing the period at the end, and then we can now go ahead and set the end value. Don't end it with a new line, but end it with a period. Run the program again. John William Smith. And then we have exactly what the question is asking. J, you know, period space, W, period space, S, period. And you can try with other examples too. Let me try my name. Just try Atta Kakra Ditome. It says AKD. So this program is working exactly um, as, you know, What's you know? It's basically we are doing what the question is asking us. Anyway, we're done. All right. So if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next program in chapter eight. All right then. Bye bye.